what, what, what is up? Welcome back, Scroots and D Fortune. Mm hmm. We back. Another Once day, again. another mission. This mission is create a network for the moon. Ooh. Ooh. So, um, the reason these uh, scan sat surveys haven't completed yet is because it's just working its way, getting 75% scanned. Um, takes some time. But it's out there doing work. So I figured I'd take you on a live build for this satellite. That's exciting. Ooh. So we're gonna do that. And that. That's gonna be our satellite right there. Um command and control. We still have small inline reaction wheels, which are hardly enough to do anything, but oh well. So communication. So communication out at the moon. I'm definitely going to need a Reflectron KR-7 for direct communications. Back home, correct? Uh, not necessarily. You can use the normal high gains. I think the KR-7 looks cool. So we're going to do that. And we'll just point it at Kerbin. I think that'll do. And then we are going to need, actually, let's go ahead. Let's go ahead and just do two of these. Boom. So are KR7s omnidirectional? Uh, no, they're dishes. Cool. So these guys can talk to each other like this. <laughs> right there and right there. Oh, there. And this is already looking nice. So I think we'll put four out there around the moon. I think that'll be okay. Um, fuel cell. No, we don't want that. We want that and that. Maybe we actually want them down here again. Sure. Come on, there we go. And might as well, I mean, solar panels are cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. 380 bucks, Airy. super light. Might as well bring as many as you can. Rechargeable batteries. There we go. Nope. Nope. There it is. Yeah. Okay, we'll get it eventually. There we go. Bring tons of batteries on this boy. Perfect. I think that looks pretty nice. Um, yeah. So that's going to be our satellite. Quick and easy. Um, nothing fancy needs to go out there. I mean, you've got the science, right? So there's no point in bringing science with me. No, I don't have science on this. Oh, from, I have a from the moon? couple. Um, I got like the high science. I think I'm going to be in a high orbit, so. It won't matter. Okay. Nice. Oh, I don't have a direct connection. So we'll go ahead, we'll bring one of these for it first. It's always nice. I don't know if the direct connection's ever used, but it's always nice to have. 
Yeah, it looks like it's used for like, um, if you're like landing on a planet and you have two different vehicles for that so they can talk to each other. Yeah. How far, how many millions of meters is the moon away from Kerbin? Um, mine distance from carbon. Any answers? Uh, about twelve. Twelve. Okay, so ninety is perfectly fine. Cool. I'm liking this. Yeah. All right. Um, so now let's set her up. Let's see, coupling. Boom. Fuel tanks. Hydrogen fuel tanks. Now these are interesting, aren't they? What can you store? So this is where you store your liquid stuff. Yeah. Okay. We might try to use these. Um... What's the best engine in a vacuum? Oh my goodness. These cryogenic ones are amazing, aren't they? Yeah, they're really good. That's why I wanted to use one. So, which one has the best ISP? This guy. Oh my goodness, he's huge. This guy is more my size. So he needs LH2 and oxidizer. What is LH2? Uh, just liquid hydrogen. That's the problem though. We don't really have. Yeah, we don't really have a good way of getting that. Oh, we gotta go black. So we can do oxidizer there, and these guys can store liquid hydrogen. Um, but yeah, I don't, I don't know how we would get it, at least with those tanks. So it needs LH2. So the Vesuvius needs LH2 and oxidizer. So how much fuel do I have here? We're gonna do some quick maths. So I need, I think one to eight, is that what that is? Calculator. Nine point, no, 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 one three six point five three four divided by nine point one oh two. One to fifteen, okay. So we have two hundred oxidizers so times two hundred. So we need three thousand. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Oh, hold up. I might have just done something smart. But you didn't do it. On accident. So we're going to do that. Go move these bad boys in. Oh, there's no... So I have 200 units of oxidizer and 
500 times 6, which is 3,000 units of LH2, which is exactly 1 to 15 ratio. Which means my delta V in a vacuum. I only have 800 meters per second of fuel in here, though. That's not enough. That doesn't sound right. So if we do that, I only have, but I have like 2.66 thrust to weight ratio. See, now that just doesn't seem right at all. Seventeen. That's just way too big for that stage, though. Darn. What happened to the action groups? I just had custom action groups, and now I don't. Engine stops under 10%. There we go. Huh. I'm confused. I thought this would work out well. But obviously not. So, scratch that. We'll just go normal, normal engines for now. The lame, boring way. Yeah. Engines, the pug. I mean, look at that. 3,200 meters per second. That's ridiculous. And you don't even have to work hard to figure out and do maths. It just happens. All right, 2,250. That'll be just fine. Once I get into orbit, how much fuel do you think I need? 2,250 is plenty. For getting to there the There, and, and circularizing. Yeah, it should be enough. Should be enough, he says. What happens if I do that? 2,707. All right, that'll be plenty. I know for sure. Coupling. Let's get a stack separator on here. And then a shroud. Aerodynamics. Now we need some struts. Gotta strut our stuff. Silver, gold, orange. Gold doesn't show up as gold, does it? Alright, we'll do silver. Um. Alright. And so. Now, I think we still got to use, what are the Valiants? The Valiants aren't that good. Okay. Fuel tanks. Give me the big boys. Well, actually, structural. What would these be in? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's use a bicoupler. Here we go. Probably didn't need to do this because I was probably going to make there just fine as a rocket I had. But you can never pass up the chance to just strap two thumpers on the side of no, it. Oh, I mean, come on. Like, why would you? Why would you pass up that opportunity? Yeah, like, I I can do it. Why not? All right, we got two swivels on here. I think this will be just fine. Let's strut them up. You can change the color of struts. Oh no, just the, okay.
Boom, boom. Let's get one up here. And one up here for a good safe measure. All right. So that happens, and that decouples, and then that's going to fire at the same time. And then that decouples. Let's set some action groups. Oh, we don't have custom action groups yet, do we? Uh, no, we do. It's weird. Like, if you click on a part, it'll show you the custom action groups menu. That's why I was like, I, that's why I thought it disappeared, but no. It's still there. Yeah. Extend our solar panels. That'll be one. And then two. No, no, no. We'll do those by hand. All right. So one is solar panels. Got it. Check. Okay, let's see if this bad boy will get us to space. Well, it'll get us there. Let's see if it'll get us to the moon. Um, do we need fins? Fins are overrated. Psych. I need fins. Overrated. So let's do this how this guy said. So the first thing you want to do, kill rotation. We're going to type in our... Pathfinder 4A on the way to the moon with sat number one. Second. Ah, what should these satellites be called? Should it still be the yarns? Anything in the, the yarn? Yeah. Anything in Kerbal system should be yarn. And we're off on a dark night. Where's the moon at? Oh, I can't even see it. I guess we'll never go in there, huh? Gotta believe. I love the look of these engines, man. On a dark, cloudless night. On the way to the moon. Let's see. Oh, we're getting some atmospheric effects, but I think we're good. Powered through. Once you punch through this first layer of atmosphere, it's you start flying real quick. Oh yeah. Almost tipped over, okay. Still too much drag here to do that. I guess we'll do that. Boom, shroud's gone. Splinters into a hundred pieces. Let's do that. Set this target to curve in. Activate. Where's my antenna? Under my umbrella, Ella, Ella, a beautiful. A. Where is it? Should be on this thing, right? Did, did my antennas disappear? Hmm. 
Where's my direct connection to antenna? Oh, no. Uh oh. I could have promised they were put on here. Just pull an oopsie. Well, I think we're okay, but I mean, I wanted to direct. I wanted direct antennas on these things. And I don't see them. I just pulled an oopsie. I'm trying to get used to this flight computer. It's all right. Let's go back to let's go back to vehicle assembly. Wasted three minutes and forty one seconds, but. They're on there. I guess I'm just blind. Oh, they're above the... Oh. Scrooge is blind. Confirmed. Let's launch again. Uh, Thumpers have gimbling? Thumpers have gimbling? What is that? Yeah. That's exciting. Hopefully we can have a better takeoff this time. Sit to about five degrees. Hold it for a little bit. Just stick to prograde, see what happens. So do you have to use the flight computer when you go out to the moon? No. Okay. There shouldn't be any delay. It's really, from what I've seen, it's really only for, like, if you're going to be in a situation where you're going to lose connection. Oh, uh, okay. Or if the delay is, like, too big. Or, like, a where, Duna. You know, yeah. Do my transfers around 100 to 120. All right. Your rotation. At 50, we're going to open up. Bam. Go ahead and bring these guys out. Set target, curve in, activate. Okay. Nice point pro grade. And away we go. It's really easy to get a circular orbit when you're orbiting with a 1.0 thrust weight ratio vehicle. Yeah. <laughs> Every other time it's like, and boom, your apoapsis is 100,000 meters above yeah. where you need to be. 
All right. Circular enough. Um. So now we got to plan our moon encounter. Actually, let's set up these guys first. So that's pointing back at Kerbin. So it should always hit something that's active. We'll do this as active vessel. Okay. All right. So that worked kind of. So right now we're okay. Where's the mun? Add maneuver here. Ah, oh, perfect. So should I do like a, should I do like polar orbits for these guys or should I just be way out in equatorial orbits? I would kind of just go way out. Like a um, thousand kilometers? Yeah. This is pretty much as far out as you can be from, from the mun. Just so you have, you know, the largest I think a thousand Average kilometers forward. will be be nice. All right. So we got a small burn, a minute long. Warp to next maneuver. Can't wait to hold okay. maneuver nodes. Well, that's why I'm using the uh, flight computer because technically you can. Oh, uh, really? Well, because you just yeah you are doing the maneuver, right? Yeah, yeah. It's just pointing. It's just doing the maneuver that you set up. Wait, a thirty seconds delay. Node in 12 minutes. To get out to the moon, you just pretty much point prograde when the moon comes over the horizon. Whoop, there it mm -hmm. is. Get out Just there. Out. Usually I don't use maneuver nodes, but if I want to be get a certain altitude, or apoapsis, periapsis, I guess usually I like prefer to do that. And it's definitely the easiest way to find the most efficient time to burn. All right, periapsis. And, whoop. Oh, perfectly, a million. All right. So cool. Let's go ahead and warp out there, I guess. Let's warp here and make sure there's no issues. Oh, the comm link is working beautifully. I'm not going to lie. It's really pretty to watch. So this guy's pointing back at curve in. Local stage. What is this guy doing? Common. And like... I guess we point one at the moon, right? Mm hmm. 10 minutes. It's going to be out in a couple of seconds, so. Nine minutes. Perfect, we have flawless connection and only 0.03 seconds of delay, so. Let's add maneuver. And I just wanna do this so it's perfectly circular.
We can fix that circularness, circularizationness here in a sec. Alright. Warp to next maneuver. It's going to be an 11 second burn. We've brought tons of fuel that we didn't need out here. That's okay. That's That's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, so hopefully this will work correctly. And it should stop my time warp, so let's try it. So we'll warp. This is all flight computer getting me out. Programmed it. Hopefully it should get me out to the moon. Huh. Hands Look. off. Burn. Okay. I guess it works with Kerbal Alarm Clock because that just stopped me. Still want to warp. Okay. Four, three, two, one. Burn. Start. It's burning. Oh, that's plenty circular. Done. One second. It should toggle the stage. I just heard a massive explosion. What just happened? <laughs> All I'm right. an idiot, Scrooge. What'd you do? What'd you do? Oh my god. I still have the fairing on. Oh. I was too oh. busy looking at the flight computer. I forgot about deploying you the fairing. Big dumb, my guy. Well, we have. Configure vessel name. We have yarn. It's going to get confusing with yarns out at different places. This needs a different name. How about Morn? Moon Outer Moon Orbital Something Relay Network. Moon Orbital What about that? Just Moon Orbital Relay Network. Morn? Yeah, the Morn. But I wanted to do like a Morn, the actual word M O U R N. Uh, umbrella relay network. I like it. Moon orbital umbrella relay network one. It's a relay. Except. Cool. I wish I could say don't track with that one. Um, so pointing at the moon, pointing a curve in, pointing a current object, and then those two will be point to their neighbors left and right once we get them out here. Um, and I think I really only need three out here. Yeah, month's so small. It should be able to see the other ones. Let's see, do we have any mun? Actual Mun satellite missions? I just accepted one. Communication coverage. Create a network for the moon. Okay. Oh, that one, yeah. Okay. Let's see. So, right, you're um. You're in orbit, right? Uh huh. I got. Did it accept for you? I got the contract, yeah. Um, anyway, guys, I'm gonna fast forward throughout these launches. Uh, um, I'll come back to you guys when this is all complete and we will go from there.
We did it! Oh, ignore all this junk. Oh, is there another orbit I have to do out here now? Is there two more orbits around the moon? Um, Great Mun Network. Anyway, so Morn, Morn <laughs> 1, 2, 3, and 4 are out here. They've done the network. Um, yeah, those are the guys that are doing it right there. It gives us, uh, yeah, 95% coverage. So if we just fast forward. And the shakeout testing will be complete in five, four, three, two, one. Bingo, bango, bongo. Network for the moon is complete. There's some nice. more orbits out here that we can hit with other things. Um, yeah, but hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode. Make sure you tune in next time for more OSP. Uh, I, I can't find the word that goes in between OSP and KSP. Original Scrooge production. No, KSP by OSP. Oh, there we go. KSP by oh, Original Scrooge production. KSP, but yeah. Well, we didn't make KSP, right? OSP of KSP? Original Scrooge production of KSP. Yeah, that's what we're going to have to do. It works. It's a little weird, though. <laughs> yeah, what? I don't know. And honestly, let's just keep... Are you doing anything important, Darian? Are you building something? Uh, Yes. If I sim like a million times, you going to be okay? Oh, yeah, I'll be fine. I can All catch right. up. I just want to finish the ScanSat surveys, which, come on, Biome ScanSat, 73 out of 75, no way. Is this my our max? Are we not going to get any more? Uh-oh. Uh-oh, SpaghettiOs. 73 out of 75, that's it? That's a big old fail. Anyway, guys, see you next time. Your boy Scrooots is out.